Pusher propeller aircraft bring a distinct layout that places the power plant behind the cabin, creating a clear line of sight for the crew. This arrangement enables pilots to enjoy a wider forward view and provides designers with more flexibility to mount cameras and sensors where they are most effective. With the propeller pushing from the rear, the airframe meets the airflow with fewer disturbances, which can help the aircraft move through the air with less resistance. As a result, these designs often achieve smoother performance, making them an interesting path for engineers and pilots who value efficiency, visibility, and a fresh take on propulsion layout. With that in mind, here are the top 10 pusher propeller aircraft. Piaggio P-180 Avanti The Piaggio P-180 Avanti is an Italian twin-engine turboprop that redefines aerodynamic efficiency through its striking design. Introduced by Piaggio Aerospace, the Avanti combines luxury, speed, and economy in a layout unlike any other. Its sleek fuselage features a forward wing, a main wing, and a T-tail giving it three lifting surfaces that balance aerodynamic forces while reducing drag. The two Pratt and Whitney PT-6A turboprops are mounted in a pusher configuration at the rear, spinning five-blade propellers that pull the aircraft forward with exceptional smoothness and lower cabin noise. Cruising at nearly 400 knots and with a range of about 1,500 nautical miles, it performs closer to a light jet than a turboprop, yet consumes significantly less fuel. The spacious pressurized cabin accommodates up to seven passengers in an executive-style layout with club seating and refined Italian craftsmanship. The Avanti's unique shape isn't just for looks. It enhances performance, stability, and efficiency. Its forward-swept wings and streamlined profile make it one of the most aerodynamically efficient aircraft ever built. Whether used for private transport, air ambulance, or business travel, the Avanti delivers jet-like performance paired with turboprop economy. Rutan Long EZ The Rutan Long EZ is a groundbreaking home-built aircraft designed by Bert Rutan in the late 1970s recognized for its forward canard wing and pusher propeller layout. Unlike traditional tractor aircraft, its engine and propeller are mounted behind the cockpit, pushing the airplane through the air instead of pulling it. This configuration reduces aerodynamic drag, improves forward visibility, and keeps cabin noise to a minimum. The design also gives the long easy its distinct streamlined profile and efficient airflow around the fuselage. Constructed primarily from lightweight, composite materials, the Long EZ delivers remarkable performance on modest power. Its Lycoming O235 engine produces around 115 horsepower, allowing cruise speeds above 160 knots and ranges beyond 2,000 nautical miles. The aircraft's canard layout enhances stability and prevents deep stalls, making it forgiving to fly even for amateur builders. Seating two occupants in tandem, it offers a snug cockpit with exceptional forward and upward visibility. The pusher setup allows cleaner aerodynamics and contributes to its fuel efficiency, helping pilots cover great distances on limited fuel. Even decades after its introduction, the Long EZ remains a symbol of creative engineering and personal aviation freedom, inspiring countless experimental aircraft designs that followed. Beechcraft Starship The Beechcraft Starship is one of the most futuristic aircraft ever placed into production, combining advanced aerodynamics, composite construction, and pusher turboprop propulsion. Conceived in the 1980s by Beechcraft and designed by Bert Rutan, the Starship was engineered to redefine business aviation. It features twin Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6A 67A turboprop engines mounted in pusher configuration at the rear of the wings, driving five-blade propellers that push the aircraft forward rather than pulling it. This arrangement produces a quieter cabin and improved airflow over the wings, 
while reducing cabin vibration and propeller noise, built almost entirely from carbon fiber composites. The Starship was light yet strong, giving it sleek aerodynamics and smooth handling. The aircraft cruises at around 330 knots with a range of roughly 1,500 nautical miles, rivaling some early business jets while burning less fuel its forward canard and rear-mounted engines created a distinctive silhouette unlike any other aircraft in its class. Inside, the Starship offered a luxurious, pressurized cabin for six to eight passengers with executive seating and an advanced glass cockpit for pilots. Though only a small number were produced, the Beechcraft Starship remains an aviation icon, an innovative blend of art, technology and daring engineering vision. Cessna Skymaster 337 The Cessna 337 Skymaster is a twin-engine aircraft with one of the most distinctive layouts in aviation, a push-pull configuration. Instead of placing engines on the wings, Cessna mounted one in the nose as a tractor and another behind the cabin as a pusher. This inline design provided the safety of twin power plants without the asymmetric thrust problems typical of conventional twins when one engine fails. Both propellers operate along the aircraft's centerline, giving the Skymaster predictable handling and straightforward single-engine control. Powered by two Continental IO 360 engines, each producing 210 horsepower. The Skymaster cruises around 165 knots with a range exceeding 1,000 nautical miles. Its twin boom tail supports the rear engine and gives it a balanced aerodynamic profile. Pilots appreciated its stability, simple flight characteristics, and strong climb performance, making it a popular choice for private owners, air patrols, and even military observation roles under the designation O2. Skymaster the pusher propeller at the rear complements the tractor engine by improving airflow and reducing drag at cruise speeds. Combined with its wide cockpit windows and dependable performance, the Cessna Skymaster became a trusted workhorse in both civil and government aviation, known for its reliability and unique engineering logic. Icon A5 The Icon A5 is a modern light sport amphibious aircraft designed for recreational flying, featuring a single rear mounted pusher propeller. This configuration positions the engine and propeller above the fuselage at the rear of the cockpit, pushing the aircraft forward while keeping noise and vibration low inside the cabin. The design also improves aerodynamics by keeping airflow over the wings and fuselage clean and allows for a sleek, compact nose that enhances visibility during water and land operations. Weighing under 1,500 pounds and powered by a 100 horsepower Rotax 912 engine, the A5 can cruise around 90 knots while offering exceptional short takeoff and landing capabilities from both water and runway surfaces. Its high wing design and amphibious floats make it stable on water, while the folding wings allow easy storage or transport. The cockpit seats two side by side, with modern avionics and intuitive controls that make the A5 accessible even to pilots with limited experience. The pusher propeller setup allows for a quieter, safer experience compared with traditional tractor designs, particularly during takeoffs and landings near the pilot seating area. Its combination of ease of use, fun handling, and amphibious versatility has made the Icon A5 a favorite among aviation enthusiasts seeking adventure on both land and water. Adam A500 the Adam A500 is a twin-engine business aircraft notable for its push-pull configuration, combining a tractor propeller in the nose with a pusher propeller mounted at the rear. This arrangement places both engines along the aircraft's centerline, eliminating asymmetric thrust issues common in conventional twins and offering predictable, stable handling even if one engine fails. The rear-mounted pusher propeller helps reduce drag and contributes to quieter, smoother cabin conditions. 
constructed with modern composite materials and aluminum, the A500 is powered by two Continental IO 550C engines, each producing around 310 horsepower. This allows the aircraft to cruise at approximately 230 knots, with a range of roughly 1,200 nautical miles. Its pressurized cabin accommodates six passengers in a luxurious, executive-style layout, featuring club seating and large windows for excellent visibility. The twin-boom tail design keeps the rear propeller clear while maintaining stability and balance. The A500's push-pull configuration, though uncommon, offers clear aerodynamic benefits, including improved efficiency, streamlined airflow, and reduced noise in the cabin. Despite limited production, the aircraft is admired for its innovative engineering, combining the simplicity of centerline thrust with modern materials and avionics. It represents a creative solution for pilots seeking performance, safety, and comfort in a uniquely configured twin-engine design. Saab 21 The Saab 21 was one of Sweden's most innovative fighter aircraft of World War II, distinguished by its rear-mounted engine and pusher propeller layout. Developed by Svenska Aeroplan Axibolaget, it was designed to combine heavy firepower, excellent pilot visibility, and aerodynamic efficiency. The aircraft's engine was positioned behind the cockpit, driving a large three-blade propeller that pushed the plane forward. This configuration allowed a streamlined nose section with space for heavy nose-mounted cannons and machine guns, giving the Saab 21 formidable offensive capability. Powered by a Daimler-Benz DB605B inline engine, producing about 1,475 horsepower, the aircraft reached speeds near 400 miles per hour, comparable to other late war fighters. The twin-boom tail design provided stability while keeping the propeller clear of the rear fuselage. However, the pusher configuration created challenges for pilot safety, leading Saab engineers to incorporate one of Europe's earliest ejection seats, a groundbreaking feature at the time. After the war, the Saab 21 was modified into the jet-powered J21R, marking Sweden's transition into the jet age. Though produced in limited numbers, the Saab 21 remains a striking example of wartime ingenuity, showcasing how engineers experimented with unconventional propulsion layouts to improve visibility, performance, and weapon integration. Convair B-36 Peacemaker The Convair B-36 Peacemaker was a monumental achievement in Cold War aviation built to carry nuclear weapons across intercontinental distances without refueling. What made it particularly distinctive was its use of six rear-facing pusher propellers powered by massive Pratt & Whitney R4360 WASP major radial engines, each driving a 19-foot propeller. The engines were mounted in the wings with the propellers behind them, pushing the aircraft through the air instead of pulling it. This setup reduced drag over the leading edge of the wings and improved aerodynamic efficiency for long-range cruising. The B-36 stretched 162 feet in length with a wingspan of 230 feet, larger than any other bomber of its era. It could carry up to 86,000 pounds of bombs and cruise more than 10,000 miles without refueling. Later versions added four General Electric jet engines under the wings, giving it a combined 10-engine configuration. The B-36's enormous size, pusher layout, and mixed propulsion made it instantly recognizable both in flight and on the ground. Though it never saw combat, the Peacemaker served as a critical deterrent during the early years of the Cold War bridging the gap between piston and jet-powered strategic bombers and symbolizing an age of global reach and engineering ambition. Rutan Voyager The Rutan Voyager made aviation history in 1986 as the first aircraft to fly non-stop around the world without refueling, a feat that demonstrated the limits of aerodynamic efficiency and endurance. 
Designed by Bert Rutan and piloted by Dick Rutan and Gina Yeager, this record-breaking aircraft featured a twin-boom structure and a unique push-pull propeller configuration. It used a small Continental O240 engine with a tractor propeller in the nose and a larger Teledyne Continental O200 engine with a pusher propeller at the rear, optimizing fuel economy and balance throughout the flight. Built almost entirely from lightweight composite materials, the Voyager had an extraordinary wingspan of 110 feet but weighed less than 2,300 pounds when empty. It carried over 7,000 pounds of fuel, nearly 75% of its takeoff weight, stored in its slender wings and fuselage. The aircraft cruised at modest speeds around 110 knots, designed purely for efficiency rather than performance. During its nine-day, 26,000-mile flight, the Voyager encountered severe weather, engine issues, and exhaustion, yet completed the mission flawlessly, the pusher-prop rear engine played a crucial role in maintaining flight balance as fuel burned off. Today, the Voyager remains a masterpiece of endurance aviation, displayed proudly at the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum. Dornier Du 335 File The Dornier Du 335 File, meaning Arrow in German, was one of the fastest piston-powered aircraft of World War II. Built by Dornier for the Luftwaffe, it featured an unconventional push-pull configuration with two Daimler-Benz DB603 engines, one in the nose, driving a tractor propeller, and another mounted in the rear fuselage powering a pusher propeller. This arrangement allowed both engines to contribute thrust without the drag penalties typical of wing-mounted engines, giving the feel exceptional performance with a top speed of around 474 miles per hour, the Du-335 outpaced most Allied fighters of its time while maintaining stability and impressive climb rates. Its long fuselage and cruciform tail were designed to clear the large rear propeller, while the tricycle landing gear provided solid ground handling. The rear pusher setup helped balance the aircraft's center of gravity, but also required an ejection seat one of the first in operational service, to protect the pilot from the spinning propeller during emergencies. Although production was limited and the war ended before it saw significant combat, the Du-335 represented a leap in piston aircraft design. Its push-pull powertrain influenced later experimental aircraft and remains a fascinating example of late-war German engineering innovation.